So why was this decision made to uh, not bring back the first season cast? I'm curious. I know like this is like the origin story. Yeah, for sure. Uh, it was less about that and it was just more about to do it anthology, similar to the movies. You know, like I think Frank Grillo is in two of the movies, but other than that one instance, they're kind of anthology and explore different parts of the world. And that is, is from the moment we came on, that was always part of the plan, right? And I was on season one in the writer's room also. And even then, all the actors were only booked for one season. Like the design of the show was meant to have like new people each time. Yeah. I, I, I got to say, uh, Billy Baldwin was my favorite last season. <laughs> I was really disappointed he, he got I killed mean, off. It was too early. It was too early. Why'd you do it? A story, if we did a story set before that yeah. season, he could be around. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So you're saying there's a chance? There's a chance, yeah. of course. Oh, one of the other bald ones, and it's like the avenging brother. How about yeah. that? I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we, we have some... Uh, People who are dead in the franchise in this season, I think, because of the teasers, could oh, take place out of time. That's yeah. true. Absolutely. You have to watch to find out who. Yeah. I, I remember uh, Sabrina Gennaro was, uh, you know, she loved her role as mm -hmm. with the Matron Saints. Yes. Yeah. Even uh, was thinking about like a spinoff. Is that something you guys were we, considering? We, I love the Matron Saints. Yeah. <laughs> we talked about bringing them in this season, and we didn't explicitly. We have things kind of like the Matron Saints, but that's something we've talked about for the future. We'd love to go back and revisit them. Yeah. Maybe like a bunch of our female characters can all join up with them yeah, <laughs> in like some super season. That would be <laughs> yeah. awesome, yeah. Is it possible we'll see any cameos or...? Uh, yes, yeah. possible. We, we'll definitely see Dermot Mulroney, see Dermot who is Dermot the voice yeah. of Bobby Sheridan in the first season, the motivational speaker. So now we'll get to see him doing his uh, radio show. It'll be interesting. We're working on some more cameos. I'm actually interested. Um, I feel there's a lot more freedom today on TV, especially, uh, I mean, I already saw the first three, mm -hmm. and especially I thought uh, three had one of the most brutal scenes. I, I couldn't we believe it was on the be. USA Network. I couldn't be. believe it. Like, how are you guys able to, like, do you have to fight for that? Do you, f you have to fight to even pull that in the script? Or? Somewhat. I yeah. mean, I would say, like, the thing in 3 was very controversial and very talked about, and we tried to find a way to do it where people would still be okay to watch it but still get the message across that this is disturbing. I'd say we shy away from gore yeah. in general. Even if we have disturbing ideas, we don't usually show, like, the moment when, the, you know, something chops something yeah. off. Well, and that's really the trick. You're never going to compete with Cinemax or HBO in terms of, like, what you can actually broadcast. But I think the reason why The Purge has feels so visceral is because there's so much buildup to death and kill. So even though the actual death may not be as gory, it's almost gorier in your head because you've been waiting for it for two or three episodes and it's been building to it a lot more. So I think that's part of it too. I remember, I don't remember which writer this was, but he was telling me about how you know, Game of Thrones gets Emmys every year because they have the, the biggest budget in some way. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's an element to that. And I was wondering, do, do you guys feel budget matters or especially for this kind of show it matters less or what do you feel? It matters in terms of scope I mean we did a really good job I think stretching our budget and we had a healthy budget but it when you want to cut to that wide shot and show like the aftermath of Purge that's where it's like oh you wish you had Game of Thrones because mm -hmm. if you really think about it it would look you know there'd be fires everywhere and stuff like that so you just have to be selective about what you show and kind of let the mind kind of like fill in the gaps in between what you know what you're actually showing them so and I feel like our stunt team did a no, great job yeah. this season with the budget we have. And our stunts are, like, way bigger than first season, I would yeah. say. We just finished this, like, two-minute wonder fight sequence. And, like, I think fans will be impressed. People getting thrown through windows. and Yeah, yeah no, vans flipping over. Like, I felt like every yeah. episode there was, like, a new cool stunt that they yeah. were like, how about this? We're like, yes. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> do any of the cast members do their own stunts? or they're all oh, uh, Max Martini a little bit. Like, we had an mm -hmm. incredible stunt team that took the brunt of it and stuff like that but max has a lot has a lot of training from all the military shows and stuff that he's done so he did he did a little bit of his own he yeah. would help his team also like with like the gun stuff and everything and like be like no this is how we go through together as a team and like just because he had like trained with so many like soldiers and stuff like that yeah. for previous parts he was like i can help with this yeah, so like, he added a lot of authenticity to that character, mm -hmm. which is great to the whole crew the whole heist crew mm -hmm. how do you approach uh, a season i know like I understand pretty much the whole season is complete before it airs, but I'm uh, I'm wondering, are you affected by case, ratings yeah. at all, or oh, does mean, that impact you when you're creatively creating, you know, creating something? Oh, for the on network shows when yeah. you're airing as you're writing, uh, that definitely matters. Here, we're all going to be done creatively by the time it airs, so and we won't be able to adjust. Yeah, yeah. But but definitely, studio and network notes come in along the way based on you know what their market research says and all that kind of a thing. Yeah, and you just try and fold it into. But you just try and fold it into the story in a way that doesn't hurt the story and makes the story better. So that's kind of our job with those notes. 
do you check fan feedback online or Not or like even TV by the numbers to I see do, how you do? Oh, I do, do, I do. You? oh ratings. I look oh, at ratings? Spoiler TV like immediately. Oh, yeah. It's the first one up. <laughs> I, I but for all shows like not even just my own but yeah. I do live tweeting too when the shows air it's fun I like feel like people like write interesting no, stuff really yeah like the fans is it purge purge yeah last year on, I'm on my own I just tweet you know on purge night but yeah sometimes we'll get the actors to do it at least on the premiere right yeah yeah the sure. purge account is funny they purge back funny things oh, or they write good. back funny like they purge back funny they're things. like start preparing for next year friend like, like oh really like, yeah. oh, they get like aggressive yeah oh, that's kind of weird that's great <laughs> what are you gonna say. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't remember. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. It's long gone. I, I really, I like. I've enjoyed the first three episodes, and uh, yeah, I, enj I enjoyed the first season a lot. Cool. Um, cool, cool, cool. I was, r I was really surprised it got on TV. To be honest, <laughs> I mean, yeah, because it feels like a show you'd see maybe, like like you said, on like on HBO or, yeah, or even. Yeah, yeah. Even maybe on AMC or something like oh, that. Yeah. But I, I, I was surprised. HB, or, uh, USA is like being a little more edgy lately. We got 10 F bombs per episode. Mm -hmm. Last year we, we only had that. five. Yeah, <laughs> so we had double the amount of F words. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is great. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, USA to their credit took a risk. You know, I think, I mean, I can't, I wasn't there for when they bought the show or whatever, but it, it's, it's a little different than uh, the bulk of what's on their network, but not totally. Like Sinner's got Sinner's a lot of, pretty yeah, dark, it's yeah. Got, got, it gets pretty dark and stuff. And so they, <laughs> you know, they had their notes and they had their ideas, but they let us, all the, we got to make the show that we wanted to make. And as fans of The Purge, like we were satisfied. So, I, I mean, they want to make The Purge, so it was great. Was that supposed to be an intended rape in the first episode when he gets on? I mean, that's what it looked it was, like. It's definitely. Really says, was he just taunting? It's, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely implied, but obviously we didn't take it fully there, so it kind of leaves it to interpretation. Yeah, on the day of filming, we were like a little bit more like vague about it, and then I think later in the post-production process, you know, we're like, hmm. What's the scariest thing we can imagine yeah, in this moment? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That was one messed up scene. <laughs> yeah, it was. I know. I have to say, I was like, is this, is this really going to happen? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, no, the God no. mask and I everything. know. It's a way, great way to reintroduce the God mask to the world. Actually, reminds me. Did, did you guys watch The Strangers? Was that what the oh, whole... Oh, I love The Strangers. Oh, seen I've seen it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It, when you use the mask now, is that some somewhat uh Well, I mean, inspired? I... Uh, oh, throughout the series? No, I mean, well, I mean, I think the, the series in general already has masks in it but that that particular mask was born out of we talked we talked about it on the panel was like we were sitting there going like we wanted Ben to have an iconic mask and the mask kind of kind of has its own story you know in and and becomes very metaphorical in a lot of ways throughout the course of the seasons so we're like this mask is important and we were like how do we top the mask that they've already made and we just kept going we'll never be better than the god mask because it's like this fan favorite and I think it was James DeMonico that was like, why don't you guys just use the, like, we can the use God it. mask? And we're like, we can? <laughs> we got so excited, and, right? And that's so, so then it became like, how do we reintroduce it? And so we were kind of like trying to honor that particular mask because it's so iconic. Well, thanks guys. I'm going to Thank leave you. on this super dark note. <laughs> <laughs> Check us on a show like that, it fits, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, cool. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Have a good one.